welcome back so in this video we're going to be creating the front geometry for exercise number six so go ahead and open up the exercise six drawing located in your exercise files folder and make sure to print that out have it in front of you as you follow along so we're going to be focusing on the front view right here all right so basically we're going to be drawing the geometry starting from this point right here all the way around your part all right let's go ahead and get started so first this point is going to be our origin zero zero we're going to draw a line from here to here which is four and a half inches in length the next thing we're going to do is draw 1.25 to the top and the next thing we're going to do is two inches to the right now this section might get a little bit more complex for you so we need the distance between here and here now obviously i don't have this defined in my front view but if you look to the right you will notice that the radius is 2.25 well, the diameter is always twice the size of the radius, so the diameter is actually 4.5. So if I know that this is 4.5, and I know that this distance is 1.25, but this is actually the radius and not the diameter. So if I want to keep thinking that, okay, if, this, if I keep this as the radius, then I know the distance between here and here is 2.25. So I would do 2.25 minus 1.25, and I would get the 1 inch. Another way to do this is to take this and take the diameter, which would be 4.5. So this is 4.5. But for me to minus 4.5 from this section, I would have to make this the diameter. So that would be double the 1.25, which would make it 2.5. So again, 4.5 minus 2.25, that would give me 2 inches. Now this is where it might throw people off. The 2 inches is not between here and here. It's between here and here and also here and here combined. So that means from here to here is gonna be half of that, which is gonna be one inch. So the better way to do this is because I know this is equivalent to my radius because it's a half the size of my diameter. And it's already given to me that this in radius is 2.25. I would take the 2.25 minus 1.25 and I would get the one inch, all right? So the next thing I'm gonna do is to come over here and go one inch to the right and the next thing I will do is, again, the radius here is 2.25 minus 1.75, okay? And that will give me half an inch. So again, half an inch down. And then to the right, 1.25, 1 1.5 inches. That's 4.5 minus 3. So that's 1.5. And then I'll connect the last part. Now, also something we're going to learn here is levels manager. And I'll get started with that right now. So I'm going to minimize my drawing and open up Mastercam and come over here to machine and select lathe and default. All right, so the next thing I like to do is go to planes and make sure to go to plus D plus Z and bring both the world corner system and the tool plane down here by selecting the equal sign. All right, and go back to toolpath. Now let's go ahead and go to wireframe and select line. The first line I'm gonna draw is gonna be that 4.5 inch line I'm going to type in 4.5 in length and hit enter. The next line I'm going to create is from here to the top. That's going to be 1.25. So after the calculation, everything is easy. But the hard part was just figuring out how to calculate and get the right values. So from here to here, it's going to be 2 inches. From here to the top is going to be 1 inch. From here to the right is another 1 inch. From here down here, it's going to be half an inch. And then from here to here, it's going to be 1.5. And last but not least, I will connect those last two. And then select OK. So that's really it for the front geometry. It's very easy to create. Now what I want you to do is come over here under the Levels Manager. Now again, Levels Manager is really nice, uh, use, very useful actually, to basically separate your geometry, for example, from different geometries and also from different solids. For example, if you wanna separate your geometries or your wireframe from your solids, this way you can view and unview some of them during separate operations is very, very useful. So we're basically gonna be placing the front geometry on its own level. So the level number one is automatically created with every time you start geometry. The number eight is the amount of entities. For example, over here, we have eight lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's why there's eight entities. Now, the only thing not done for you is naming that level. And we're gonna go ahead and select under name, and we're gonna call it 
front geometry. All right, and that's really all you have to do. Now, you cannot make it invisible unless you create a second level. All right, so to create a second level, all you have to do is select over here or change the number to two. Now, we're not going to do this right now. We're going to go back to toolpath and we're going to save this and we're going to learn how to create a new level in the next video.